Hi, this is Sujata. In this video, let's discuss renal clearance. Renal clearance is a volume of plasma that is completely cleared of a substance in a given period of time. It is given by the formula C equals to Ux divided by Px multiplied by V, where Ux is the urine concentration of substance X, Px is the plasma concentration of substance X and V is the urine flow rate. Renal clearance is mainly affected by three factors, glomerular filtration, tubular reabsorption and tubular secretion. Any factor that changes either of these will have an effect on the renal clearance. This slide gives the many factors that have an effect on the renal clearance. Important among them are size, state of ionization, protein binding, and presence of renal disease. Let's look at the renal clearance of three important products that are tested often in the USMLE. These are creatinine, inulin, and PAH or para aminohypuric acid, which is an organic acid. Creatinine is not only freely filtered at the glomerulus, but it is slightly excreted at the tubules as well. So the creatinine clearance is always going to be slightly higher than the GFR. On the other hand, inulin clearance is equal to the actual GFR because inulin is only filtered at the glomerulus. It is neither reabsorbed nor actively secreted by the tubules. PH and other organic acids have the highest renal clearances because they are not only filtered at the glomerulus, but they are highly secreted at the tubules as well. This renal clearance graph is plotted by the tubular fluid concentration to the plasma concentration of a substance on the y-axis and the percent proximal tubular length on the x-axis. The ratio of tubular fluid to plasma concentration of a substance will be more than one in those substances which have a net excretion and it will be less than one in those substances that have a net reabsorption. Creatinine and urea are excreted, while electrolytes, glucose, and amino acids are reabsorbed. Sodium stays close to one, mirroring the urine osmolarity. Let's look at a few scenarios which are likely to be tested on renal clearance in the USMLE. So on the graph, which plot will most likely represent pH clearance. You can take a few seconds to pause the video and then come with an answer. The answer is line D because it has a very high tubular concentration relative to the plasma concentration. Choose the lines on the graph for glucose and inulin respectively. The answer is lines A and D respectively because glucose is one of the most highly reabsorbed substances, while inulin is not reabsorbed, it is only filtered at the glomerulus. What will be the tubular fluid to plasma concentration ratio for albumin in a healthy individual? The answer is zero, just because albumin is not filtered by a healthy glomerulus, nor is it secreted at the tubules. Hope this video clears some of your concepts on renal clearance. Thank you for watching. Hi, I am Sujata. If you enjoyed this video, then you will love the courses I authored for Achievable. Achievable Step 1 USMLE course is a great learning program if you are looking for high value information rich study materials that use technology to help you pass the exam. I have written the course exclusively for Achievable, including all the medical content that is covered by the USMLE Step 1 exam. It includes more videos just like these to cover key topics, as well as an inbuilt study planner to keep you on track. With the help of hundreds of chapter review questions, our space repetition algorithm personalizes the content just for you. Our course is very competitively priced and you can try it for free first to see if the style is right for you. Follow the links in the description below to get started.